Question one, blast, slab, wreck, crew, place. So we need to find the word that completes the last pair of words in the same way as the other two pairs. So we'll start by looking at the first pair. So we have the word blast. Now what we're going to do is number the letters in the word blast. So we have B-L-A-S-T. So we're going to number the letter B with one, then L with two, A with three, S with four, T with five. And then we're going to look at the word slab. So how is slab made from the word blast? So slab starts with an S and S is letter number four. So if we write that down under the S, then we have the letter L. And then if we look at the word blast, so L is letter number two. So we'll write down two under the L. Then we have the letter A and A is the third letter in blast. So we'll write down three. And then finally, we have the letter B. And if we look at blast, B is the first letter. So we'll just write that, that down under the B. Now, we're just going to have a look at wreck and crew. Just, just make sure we've done this correctly and that we're happy. So wreck. So again, write out the word wreck and then write the numbers underneath. And then we have crew. So we're going to see how we make the word crew. So first of all, we have the letter C and that's letter number four. So we'll write that over here, C and four. Then we have R, that's letter two. So we'll write that down. Then we have the letter E. So that's letter number three. Write that down. And then finally, we have the letter W, which is letter number one. So we can see, can't we, that we've done this correctly. We've got four, two, three, one. So then with place, so write out place. And then number the letters, one, two, three, four, five. And we know that we need to have four, two, three, one. So letter number four is a C. So we'll write that down. Then we have letter number two. That's an L. Then we have letter number three, which is an A. And then finally, we have letter number one, and that's a P. So our missing word is clap, and that's B. And now all you need to do is mark your answer on the answer sheet. So you need a horizontal line next to the word clap. 